I was in charge of the overall design, making sure that parts got made and that the sub teams worked together. So I've led a team of five or six undergraduates in writing the software for the robot, and I've also done about half of the hardware fabrication. We developed a rock detection algorithm and a camera, some calibration tools. And my specific role in the vision team was to modify the driver, the camera driver, so that you can adjust several camera parameters like brightness, white balance. There's a camera mounted on the robot and essentially I analyzed what was being seen. I helped write a uh, color calibrator where you can select rocks and the robot will be able to detect rocks of those colors. I was helping some of the other guys design uh, the UI and incorporate it with the drivers to control the actual robot. The, the information gauges, uh, the debug information, uh, cameras, uh, Xbox controls. It's called Quartinian Rotation, which basically tells you the yaw and raw position of the robot. We want to let the operator know if it's like any risk of the robot flipping. The most rewarding part of the rover for me was when we got the initial version done and watched it climb over every obstacle we threw in front of it. I definitely learned a lot about coding. Working together as a team. Different people, different groups working together towards a larger goal. A real world sense of working in team. This is our third robot put in about a thousand man hours. Three or four different coding teams working on different aspects of the coding, and then we had a whole other mechanical team that was working on actually building the physical bot. And then seeing it now and seeing everything come together and having a physical, like, put together complete bot with all the code on it's pretty cool. The advice I'd have to give was that you just need to start trying things. There's basically programs for every age level, whether it's Lego League, First, anywhere in between. Robotics are going to aid with more difficult or repetitive tasks that are unattractive for people to do. I think the future for robotics is something like ubiquitous robot, robots, that you're gonna interact with them like basically every day. Robots in place of humans in dangerous situations. We have robots that can deliver supplies to front lines, defuse bombs, work on the outside of the International Space Station. I am excited for the competition. There was only eight teams selected and we were one of them, so it's awesome.